fraction and you're asked to turn it into a decimal, you can always take the numerator at the top number here, it's called a numerator, and divide it by our denominator. So actually when I see 5 sixteenths, I think of this line here, well this line is called the vinculum, which is a great cool name and not many people know but it's kind of fun to have that knowledge. This line is called the vinculum. 5 over 6, it is saying 5 divided by 16. Excuse me, I'm saying 6 here. 5 divided by 16. So if you want to turn this fraction into a decimal form, one easy way to do that is just to divide. Well, 5 divided by 16. So here's a classic long division problem. I'm going to approach it using the algorithm of long division. We can go over that in another video. I'm just going to show it and use it here. So first thing is that we have 5. It's just like 5.0. Keep my decimal point up here because 16, I'm not going to think of it as going to 5, but as if it were going to 50. And then I'm just going to put that number up here because it's below the decimal point. It's less than a whole number. So 16 goes into 50 three times. Oops, I'm already messing up. What you do in long division is put the number up here. This is saying 16 times 3 gives me 48. Really, 4.8 in this case, because it's 16 times 0.3. And then I'm going to subtract, right? 50 minus 48 is 2. So I know right away and I'm, that E is out because that's 5.16, and now we have these to choose from. 16 does not go into 2, but I can go back to my zeros here and carry that down, so it goes into 20. 16 goes into 20 once, and 16 times 1 is 16. So now we have a remainder of 4. 20 minus 16 is 4. I should put that minus sign up here. 16 doesn't go into 4, but if I go back and add another 0, I can get the desired result of 40. Now 16 does go into 40, and it goes into it twice. 16 times 2 is 32, and I'm going to subtract again. I keep subtracting these. And notice 3.12, so A and B are out. So we can tell that the answer has to be D, which is 0.3125. Why? Because we have 40 minus 32 is 8, and we can think of it as 80 as we carry down our last 0. And 16 goes into 85 times. Also, I know it would have to be the answer because even without doing this division step, and that might save you some time, this is a multiple choice question. We knew there was more to do. In other words, we weren't done. There's going to be another number down here, and it wasn't 0. Once it's 0, you know you're done because now 16 times 5, well, that's 80. 80 minus 80 is 0, and we're done. But we hadn't reached it to 0 yet, and there was... 0.312 versus 0.3125, well, that has to be it because this ran out of numbers. It's all zeros now, and we weren't up to zeros yet, right? 16 times zero now will be the next step, and we keep going right to zero, so it wouldn't matter. But 0.3125, there was another digit to deal with, so it had to be the answer.